Hi darlings and spiders and welcome to my channel Me and Places. I'm Paulina Flam and right now I am in a town called Perast in Montenegro. This was my final destination. I took a road trip through Bosnia and Serbia with my friend and it was an awesome journey. We saw so many great places on the way but I have probably already made a video about that at the point you are watching this. So uh, Montenegro was actually my final destination but I'm staying in Kotor at the moment and I came here to Perast for a day trip so let's see what this town has to offer. Let's go! Perast exists around 14 kilometers northeast from Kotor. It also sits in a Torkas Bay of Kotor. It's a beautiful town. It mostly has one main street but dozens of churches, stairs, plants and mountains around. I really enjoyed my walk in Perast and frankly I found it to be more scenic than Kotor. Guys, this is so scenic. I just can't believe I'm actually here. So calm and peaceful here. And so pretty. There's just like few people on the road and you can see this is the reason I really like traveling in uh, in winter to to summer destinations. There is like no people around. That's so nice. Oh, there's a kitty cat. I noticed Montenegro is just like full of kitty cats. They are so cute. Oh, hi. Hello. You are so nice and warm. You've been on a sun, sunbathing. You can see those islands from here. They are pretty. So there are two islands, San George and Our Lady on the Rocks. And there is a ferry to take you on the last one, so I jumped on board. Our Lady on the Rocks comes from a legend that a fisherman found an icon, an image of Virgin Mary on the rocks of the bay. No matter how many times they tried to rescue it and bring it inland, the icon always came back to the rocks in the bay. And so people decided to make a temple for the icon. They put it more and more rocks every time passing the place and eventually built a temple on an island. Our Lady on the Rocks. Visiting the temple you really get the feeling that everything here is about the image, about the icon itself, not the temple. All in all, it's also a place with the best views on Perast. And that's the church. Look at that. It's so hot here actually, it's like Finnish summer maybe, I don't know. 16-17 degrees. There is also a museum. And I even have a ticket, but honestly, I don't feel like going inside. It's just half an hour. I better walk the island all the way. It's so scenic. Oh, there's a small lighthouse. Look how cute it is. I wonder what that island is. And can you get there? Soon the boat arrived and it was time to jump on board and go back. Actually, it was time to go all the way back. I soon learned that there is no buses, no any kind of transport back to Kotor. So my hiking plans changed a little bit. Okay, so darlings, as I'm staying in Kotor, I am planning to walk there. And as Google Maps says, it should be three hours of walk and it should be by the coast, coastal walk. So I'm gonna do that and we will see what are the other places that I'm gonna encounter on my way. I mean, there should be other villages on the way. It's not like Kotor is the next town. There is something in between and that would be nice to see. I think that's exactly the amount of time that I have before sunset, so it should be awesome. Let's do it. And if I get tired, I just hitchhike or something. Because <laughs> I actually couldn't find any buses. Oh, firemen. It's weird, but they are not as handsome as in Finland. I don't know why it's unfair to Montenegro. It just is. Bye, Perast. See you again someday. I love these scenic benches on the way. I'm so, so happy. And honestly, I don't want to leave, but at the same time, I am going to another very scenic place, so I kind of want to leave. I must say, I quite miss moving and walking and being 
you know, outdoor active after a few days on the road, road trip, which is awesome, very scenic, the most beautiful road I have ever seen so far. But I'm very looking forward to this walk. <laughs> okay, I should really move faster because you can see sun will soon be behind the hills and I'm still embarrassed <laughs> because it's so beautiful. I cannot get fast with this walking. Actually, I'm not sure there is even a path or should I walk the, the road where the cars ride? Because that's not, not nice to walk for three hours. A thing I forgot to mention, there's a lot of cactuses. They are everywhere on those hills as well. An army of cactuses. Ooh. That's where I come from and that's where I'm going. I'm walking for an hour and maybe 15-20 minutes and uh, I haven't seen a bus even once in this time, so it's good I am moving <laughs> and I took this walk and it's so beautiful. I'm just sorry there is this horse passing all the time. I wish it was more like a nature path, but still it's very scenic. And Google Maps shows me that there should be some kind of lake soon. We will see what is it about. One thing I really dislike in the areas around is the trash. Look at that. Such beautiful sceneries and such trash around it. And actually when we were on a road trip we saw a whole hill, like basically full of trash. Why? People? I don't get it. So I'm walking that way and Kotor is, I think it's there, somewhere there behind this, uh, I should go round like this. See, there was actually a small place you could walk and here it ends so I must walk by road and actually it goes like it turns all the time so I just hope the cars will see me in case I die it's my last video thanks for watching stay curious and uh, it was worth it so scenic guys look at that So that's where I came. <laughs> ta -da. Ta -da, ta -da, ta da As scenic as all the way has been. I'm so happy I'm walking this route, to be honest. Oh, there's some kind of hiking route here. Lovchen Rumia. I should Google this. It goes there. Maybe I can do it some other day. Here I can finally see where I came from. Somewhere there is Perast. Okay, now I'm in Luta. So there is a bridge I just passed and there is some kind of stream under. And I think that's the lake area that Google Maps showed me. So I'm walking by this highway all the time and now in Luta there is this another road. Oh, nice road. I just hope it connects somewhere with the main road as well. So guys, check it out. This one where the cars go and this one by the shore, which I swap, swapped, switched. 
I took the one by the shore. Now it goes back to the highway and soon it will change again. So I think I'll pick this option and then just walk by the shore until the very Kotor. It goes all the way to the city. And the Brota. And it looks like that. It's really pretty. There's some kind of tower there. Guys, I think I'll pack my camera. It's getting quite late and uh, dark little by little. So it's not like I will be able to shoot much any videos anymore. So I'll pack my camera and just enjoy my last six kilometers to Kotor. See you there. Of course, I could not resist taking videos and pictures with my phone because it's just such a scenic route. This last part from Dobrota to Kotor, it's so beautiful. If you ever have chance to walk it, please do. It's so nice. After a picturesque walk, I came to Kotor by the late evening. But that's for another story. Thank you so much for watching and stay curious. Bye!